हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 151 वेल मी स्माधव से रिवील टू इंडिया मेंशनिंग दैट जीटी 5G स्मार्टफोन्स विल बिगिन एट जनरली रुपीस 30000 देयर विल बी फोर सेलफोन्स इन द जीटी 5G इन इंडिया द रियल मी जीटी इज लॉन्च डेट इज सेट फॉर अगस्त 18 एंड अलोंग साइड रियल मी जीटी रियल मी जीटी मास्टर एडिशन गोइंग टू लॉन्च ऑन एवरी सेम डे Realme unveiled a whole ecosystem with the introduction of MagDart. It is primarily a system to charge your phone, but it does enable with some features as well. You may have heard about the Realme Flash phone, but that is just a concept device used to demo the system. Instead, the first phone that users will be able to charge with MagDart is one you may already have the Realme GT. The company will release a case that adds wireless charging to the GT phone. Especially the new magnetic system, this also means that the similar cases can be launched for other models as well the adapter you may be seeing is around 50 watt magdar charger the fastest magnetic wireless charger for phones in the world a 4500 mah battery can be fully charged within an hour almost as fast as using a wired 50 watt super dart charger MG Motor India on Tuesday declared an association on the Internet of Things space with computerized administration supplier Jio. The vehicle creator will give a consistent combination of IT frameworks and powered by the Jio IoT arrangement in the forthcoming fair size SUVs. Last week an MP in Nepal argued the government to ban online games like PUBG Mobile and GSM Arena Free Fire in the country. As for the new reports the ADG Naresh Kumar Lakha has been written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi to ban games like PUBG Mobile and GSM Arena Free Fire. Redmi Book Pro and Redmi Book e-learning edition laptops have been launched in India. The laptop comes with 11th generation Intel Core processor, a 15.6 inch full HD display and 10 hours of battery life. Redmi Book e-learning edition price in India starts at rupees 41999. Redmi Note 10 and Note 20 5G cost in India has been increased. The Redmi Note 10 presently begins at rupees 13,499, while the Note 20 5G cost at rupees 14,499 for the base model. The new value climbs up, makes the smartphone costlier by rupees 500. Please check out the screen for the prices of Redmi Note 10 and Redmi Note 20 5G. Earlier this week the IQ8 was kept on display at the China Joy 2021 Tech Trade Show. The IQ released an official confirmation through its Weibo handle that the IQ8 will be made official at 7:30 p.m. on August 17 in China. The IQ8 lineup may possibly include two models namely the IQ8 and IQ8 Pro. Ola recently unveiled the first electric scooter in India. The company at the time of unveiling confirmed that the new electric scooter will be launching in 10 different color options. It also opened reservation for the scooter wherein customers had to pay a nominal token of rupees 500. And the company has announced that the company will be launching its first two-wheeler electric vehicle in India on August 15th. Microsoft Windows 365 has been launched and it offers users a cloud PC platform that enables any user to get their hands on a smooth polished window PC experience via web browser. The move essentially relieves the need for companies to acquire new Windows PCs for new employees and also allows more organization the flexibility of remote work conditions. The cloud PCs offered through the Microsoft Windows 365 plan are divided into two types: business and an enterprise. Please check out the screen for the new prices for the Microsoft Windows 365 Xiaomi CEO confirms the August 10th launch for new smartphones and tablets. Xiaomi has just recently held an official live video stream for its fans in China. During this live stream, the company's CEO revealed that new smartphones and tablet will be announced this month. An image running on the social media platform the MI Mix 4 frame has been leaked from a supplier factory. This image shows a phone's in-display selfie camera will be located in the middle not at the top. It also claims that MI Mix 4 launch date is for August 10th. Tesla arrival in India faces delay over i import duty. While the appearance of Tesla in India has been profoundly expected, the site tied for the well-known electric vehicle from the organization may be longer because of the great import obligation in the district. At rupees 30 lakhs, a Tesla Model 3 may be an affordable model in the US. It would become unaffordable in the Indian market with an expected price tag of around rupees 60 lakhs. 
Spotify places a new low cost subscription tier being piloted by the streaming service which combines elements of existing free and premium tiers. This plan will feature ads like Spotify's free tier but it does not impose any limits on the number of tracks that can be played per hour. Users can also free to pick which specific songs they have to listen to rather than modifying them limited to shuffling within albums and a uh, playlist. At least one user has been Spotify Plus being advertised at $0.99 a month but it's understood that Spotify's test involves offering a new plan randomly at a variety of price points to gauge user interest. We have know the tentative Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3 prices in India. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 will cost us around 1,35,000 Indian rupees and the Galaxy Z Flip 3 will be priced between 80,000 and 90,000 Indian rupees. The pre-booking for the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Galaxy Z Fold 3 have been started in India. Two new Vivo patent designs have been appeared on China National Intellectual Property Administration website. One patent shows a smartphone with a click wheel occupying half of the smartphone's front panel and it also looks like an iPod. The other patent design looks to be a budget smartphone with Zen branding on the back. With the advancement of technology, smartphone makers are now launching devices with unique features such as under display cameras and foldable screens. But there are only a handful of brands with such phones in the market. ZTE recently launched a second smartphone with an under display camera, ZTE Axon 30, which went on sale on China today. Xiaomi is gearing up to the launch of MI Mix 4 with such technology. Now Oppo has now teased its next generation under display camera technology, adding that company never stopped exploring more in impressive display experience it hinted at perspective panoramic screen that is a combination of three technologies and the company has also revealed that more details about this will be revealed tomorrow and the president of oppo china said that the technology has been in works for almost like past 2 years Honor has already revealed a tablet named V7 Pro is incoming on August 12, and today the company revealed more details about it. According to the latest teaser, the slate will have a stylus support and will work with a magnetic cover keyboard. As per the latest news about the Honor Magic 3, the device appeared in the official teaser showcasing its display and cooling system. The short clip shows a waterfall screen which houses a pill-shaped cutout for the dual selfie cameras. We are also shown an animation of the cooling system which will be tasked with keeping the Snapdragon 888 Plus in check. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.